He was a key defense witness, Dr. Vincent DeMaio. He testified that the forensic evidence is consistent with George Zimmerman's account of the fatal shooting. The wound itself, by the gap, by the powder tattooing, uh, in the face of a contact of the clothing, indicate, uh, is, uh, indicates that this is consistent with Mr. Zimmerman's account, that he, that uh, Mr. Martin was over him, leaning forward at the time he was shot. Forensic pathologist Dr. Vincent DeMaio joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Nice to see you. As I understand it, you I mean the the, you, the words you use is consistent with, um, and that those are that's not that you are certain or probably just no. that you can't. What does it mean? Tell me, consistent with. Okay, in this case, it means confirmatory of uh, Mr. Zimmerman's account of what happened. It confirms there, his account. Is there any? Doubt in your mind? Is it, I mean, is it an expert opinion that it's, I mean, that it, when you say it confirms, are you saying that you have no doubt in your mind that it occurred as George Zimmerman described it? That's correct, Greta. All right. Now, um, is it, it when, you, when you made that determination, what did you look at? Did you look at uh, pictures or clothes or what were you able to review? Well, I reviewed the photographs of the clothing, which indicated that there was a contact. Uh, a defect uh, in the uh, hoodie, and then I uh, read the uh, firearms report, which said the same thing that I concluded by looking at the photographs. I then looked at the uh, autopsy and the autopsy photographs, which showed the uh, gunshot wound in the left chest, approximately an inch to the left of the midline, with the gunshot wound lying in a two by two inch area of powder tattooing, and I had a close-up photograph of the powder tattooing. All right. Now, this does the powder, uh, I was just going to say, the powder tattooing, does that indicate that there was a space between the hoodie and the chest? Would it look different if the hoodie had been flat against the chest? Yes, it would have. If the hoodie had been flat against the chest, you would have had a circular entrance wound surrounded by a wide cuff of blackened and uh, partially seared uh, skin. What you had with tattooing, with that size and, uh, and uh, density, the muzzle of the gun was maybe two to four inches away from the skin at the time of discharge. So Is while the muzzle... Go, I'm sorry, go sir. Go ahead. No, while the muzzle was in contact with the clothing, the clothing was two to four inches away from the chest. And this is, cons this is consistent with the account of Mr. Zimmerman that uh, Mr. Martin was leaning over him so that the hoodie would have fallen away from the skin. Is there any other explanation for it to be have the distance? For instance, if you were sort of pushing away and trying to get away from someone and you're standing, would you expect that the hoodie would have, could be pulled away from the chest or not? Okay, you can forget about standing. The only way you could get a pattern like that of standing would be if somebody grabbed your shirt and pulled it this way, in which case the contact defect, which here, when the hoodie falls back into normal position, would have been over here. In you know, other words, was, the... Yeah, I'm sorry. In other words, the defect in the clothing would not have matched the defect in the body. You know, as best we can sort of piece together with, with the with testimony, other than George Zimmerman, of course, is that they were both on the ground. So it seems that one had to be over the other, that they both couldn't have been standing at that. Or is there some possibility that they could have been standing at the time of the discharge of the weapon? And I considered that, and I felt that uh, was not possible with both standing, as I just explained. And that uh, if you assume that they're on the ground, that Mr. Zimmerman had to be on his back uh, with uh, Mr. Martin over him, uh, leaning over the uh, uh, chest area of Mr. Zimmerman, such that the gun was pushed up against the clothing, discharged, made the defect, the powder went through the defect and hit the chest, producing the powder tattooing. Dr. DeMaio, thank you very much, sir, for joining us.
Thank you, Greta.